From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi, dear listeners. Welcome to another episode of Ropecast. Hi, Roger. Hi, Peter. What's with you? Well, you know, Peter, we've known each other a long time. Yeah. I can be honest. Yeah. Something has been bugging me. Oh, come. Come on. Your Tell comments me. about rugby. What about it? You remember you claimed rugby is a game without rules? Well, that's exactly what it looks like to me, actually. You know, all these guys huddling up all the time, you know, or very often in the field, and they, I don't know what they do. Maybe they talk about the queen, or I don't, I don't know what. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the ball comes back out, and they probably did something there, but it looks like it's completely without rules. Well, there certainly are rules. Well... Go ahead, explain some of them to me. Well, first of all, the word rugby, yeah. with a small r, yeah. comes from rugby, with a capital R, which is the name of one of our most prestigious schools in England. Which is? Rugby school. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So there is they, a, they invented the game? There is a rule book. Uh -huh. It is claimed that it was invented at rugby school, hence the name. Ah, okay, okay. So there is a rule book. There certainly is, yeah. In now, fact, now if, give us some, some of the more important rules. Well, to be strict, there are two rule books, but let's keep it simple. Let's take Rugby Union, the okay. game that people might see on TV, like in the World Cup. Uh -huh. Let's start with the goal. Right. Everyone's familiar with the goal in soccer. Mm -hmm. You have to imagine in rugby, it's like this, but the two posts are extended upwards. So you have like a letter H. Okay, okay. I think we can picture that. Right. And to score? If you want to score in rugby, yes. the man, it's nearly always a man, mm -hmm. carries the ball over the goal line and touches it down. That's actually places it on the ground. Okay, so and that's a touchdown. That's a try. Well, I thought if he gets into it, he, he scored. So that's not a try, that's, it's that's a, completion. This is called a try. It's a score, it's a so, try. So a goal is a try. So No, or, or sort of a... Okay, yeah, okay, it's called a try. So yeah. you score a try, and that is success. That's five points. That's five points. Yeah. Okay, so if you touch it, touch down, and it's not called a touchdown. Okay, good. Yeah, if you want to score still more points, right. you can convert. You can convert. Yes. Conversion. Yes, that's As right. As in biblical conversion. Nothing religious about this. Okay. Oh, no. Well, what does it mean? This is tough guy stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> Directly in line with the place yes. where the ball was placed on the ground, yes. someone is allowed to kick the ball and try to get it over the crossbar between the two uprights of the H. Okay, so you sort of have to shoot... Over the bar. Over the bar, there okay, is... which in soccer would be no goal. That's true. Right, but between the extended side bars. That's right, and there you get another two points. So seven in all, then. That's exactly right, yes. Okay, so the object of the game, to re recapitulate this a little bit, is to get your ball into the end zone, yeah. as Americans would say in football, of the other team, touch it down, yes. right? put your hand on it, get five points, and then you get another shot right. to get the ball through this little upper H part, and mm -hmm. then you get another two points, and then you score a maximum of seven points. That's and if you miss, you only get the five, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, okay, now we got that straight. Another thing I need to know, I don't know, I won't ask you about this huddle. What, what you mean I, the scrum? Where they all are together around the ball? That's called the scrum. Uh, okay, I won't ask you about that. But what really gets, you, gets me confused is the passing. They, they never really pass forward. Well, passing in rugby means throwing the ball from player to player. Yes. Not kicking it. Okay. So a pass in rugby is a thrown ball. And? And, and then you're right. You don't throw it forward. You throw it sideways or backward. You're not allowed to throw it forward to your fellow player. That's right. You can only throw it sideways or backward, normally backward. My God, this is more complicated than offsides. <laughs> and can you kick it forward? You can kick it forward, but the ball is not round. Yes. It's very unpredictable. If you kick it forward, you hope that another member of your team is going to grab it and run with it. Ah, okay. That's a little bit like the 
British soccer style, you know, kick and rush. You know, the goalie <laughs> oh, takes yeah. the ball and sort of kicks it, and somebody, hopefully, of your own team will get it and score with it. Yeah, but I think kicking the ball in soccer yes. is a whole lot more accurate than in rugby. I guess so, <laughs> Because yeah. of the shape of the ball. Still, I mean, soccer, it's easier for me to understand. I will ask you about this. Uh, what was it called again, this huddle? Uh, scrum. Scrum. About this scrum some other time. I okay. think our time for today is up, and I hope all of you listeners out there have understood more or less what it's about. If you really didn't understand it all, go to our website. We have a few diagrams which will explain it even better than we can in words. Bye for now. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. I still don't get it. You don't? Nah. You will one day.